Welcome back guys. Scott here with the latest 10 month update to our 41 way ceramic coatings and sealants longevity test. And if you've been following the other updates this month, you can see we got a little of the frozen stuff and it stayed that way for a couple days. Quite a few changes this month you'll see. So stay tuned. The last 30 days weather as well as the lifetime weather that this hood has seen is on your screen here. If you would like to support the channel, all you need to do is hit that like button, subscribe, comment down below to help out the algorithm. And also, if you have any experience with any of these products, let me know how they're performing for you. If you're just joining us, please be sure to check out the entire series of each of these videos as there is a ton of work that goes into the research, prep, install, and the continued testing of each of these. As usual, we will foam it down using Chemical Guy's Honeydew Snow Foam, rinse it, foam it again, wash it with an Australian sheep's wool wash mitt, and then rinse to inspect the hydrophobic properties before we dry everything off. And as you've heard me talk about with this specific test, I truly regret using a silver hood for this test, but at the time that's all that was available to me. So I have edited it in post to play with the tint and the saturation a little bit so the water hydrophobic properties do show up a little easier. And jumping right into things, NGNT, nine months, Seafoam, fast finished. Lasted about a week, really, the first wash. Seacourt's Finest Reserve and Seacourt's Professional. It's been the case with other tests as well. This batch of Seacourt's Finest Reserve, definitely not as hydrophobic as Seacourt's Professional. I know they had some bad batches. Both of these are 2021 manufacturer dates, as was when this test started. I believe they were manufactured in February or March of 2021, and this test started in May of 2021. They were not old. Fortador, Apex, those had failed. Dallas Paint Correction, T3 and T9. Both of those seem to be performing very well. You know, I'm not a fan of the guy, but it is a good product. It's holding up well. Apex, Metal Oxide Coating, looks like it's doing well as also. A little bit of wear on it, but not too bad. Extreme Solutions Poly Seal, lasted less than a month. On to Nano Skin, Ultra T1 and T3. T1's getting pretty weak, not to where we would call it failed. T3, kind of in the same boat. You can see how the water does come off. It's just a lot slower than when it was new, not to the point where it's completely sticking like some of the ones that have failed. NGNT Pro 1K, getting pretty close to being weak, but not quite there. NGNT Pro 1K looks very hydrophobic. Meguiar's 3-in-1, that's just, I believe the regular wax lasted about a month. Avalon King, looks like it's got a little wear on it, but it's doing all right. Nano Age, Nano Bond, that has been one of the impressive ones for me in this test. Very inexpensive coating, around $25, and you can see it's holding up just fine. Warregion, 10H Ceramic, it's doing all right, showing some wear. And Gion Can Coat Q2, it looks like it's also... A little worse for wear, not to the point where we would call it weak, but it's getting pretty close. When we get to about the year mark, that's kind of where a lot of these start to fail. Drive Auto Nano 9H, made in Texas. Looks like it's doing all right. Meguiar's Hybrid Paint Coating, that's another one that's been quite impressive, especially because they cut the price of that in half. New Finish Ceramic Spray, it's getting pretty close. Uh, we'll leave it on the weak side for now, not failed. But they've already discontinued that and replaced it with their graphene version, which I am testing. Underdog the Sauce Pro. Looks like it's doing all right, too. That is a PTFE or Teflon-based coating, as opposed to silica, like many of the others. Glossit 10H. Looks like it's doing all right. Glossit 5H. Looks like it's actually even more hydrophobic than 10H, comparing the two side by side. NGNT Pro 2K. Looks extremely hydrophobic, as does 3K. Those are both multiple layer coatings. Three, four layer coatings. Griot's 3-in-1 SiO2. It is weak. It's really, really close to failure. I think we'll give it a pass this month, but at this point, if you were seeing it act like that, you'd probably just spray some more on and carry on. G-Technic Ultra. Looks like it's doing all right. IGL Premier is looking pretty weak as well. This will probably be the last time we test that product because it has been tested, I think, three times in the past, this being the fourth. Typically, expect around a year. I know it's advertised as a six-month product. My experience, we're getting around a year. 
The next three very similar products, Owner's Pride, ECP Tech 580, and Speedwipe. So when you see how these three are acting, Tech 580 and Speedwipe, we're gonna call failed this month. Owner's Pride, it's really, really close. I would just leave it as weak. If you guys think I should mark Owner's Pride failed, let me know in the comments and I'll do that. But you know, they're very, very similar products. They're acting very similar. And two of the three have definitely failed. Owner's Pride is really, really close. So if you want me to call it failed, I can gladly do that. Let me know in the comments. Lone Star Ceramic Pre-Production. We're gonna leave that as weak this month, but it's pretty close too. But you can see the water does fall off fairly quickly. That's why I don't think we'd call that one failed yet. IGL Easy Graphene advertised as a one year DIY coating. It's still doing all right. Ilho, that's our Chinese coating. It was like $2 or something like that. No, uh, that was, yeah, that that's it. Uh, lasted a week. Chemical Guys Hydro Slick, one month. Chemical Guys Hydro Charge, two months. Chemical Guys Carbon Force, that's their $150 ceramic coating. It is definitely on the weaker side but i don't think we would call it failed yet and ammo reflex pro also very very close to calling that failed but it is weak so there is your update guys we're two months away from the year update i think most of these appear to be going as expected may maybe seaquart's finest reserve that'd be a surprise that it's not doing well but I, again they've had some issues with their batches so maybe I got a bad batch, don't know. New finish ceramic spray, that one, they've already discontinued it and they're replacing it with their graphene version. Ceramic one, in, fairly inexpensive and it performed well. But yeah, our failures this month. Let me know about Owner's Pride in the comments, but ECP, Tech, Tech 580 and Speedwipe, those are gonna be our failures this month. I'll go ahead and dry things off and I'll show you how things are looking right now. there we go I've got the new failure times put on the hood here let me know again about owner's pride if you think I should call that one failed or for any others for that matter uh, ammo reflex pro some of you have said that it's a sheeting coating not a beading and I don't think that's correct I think they have another product that is designed for sheeting and this is not that so again let me know thanks for watching guys and we'll see you soon